It's Memorial Day weekend and tens of millions of Americans who have been locked down and masked up are now finally celebrating their newfound freedom from coronavirus. 37 million people are expected to hit the roadways, roadways for the holiday weekend. Brian Reed joins us this morning with a look at what you can look forward to if you're traveling this weekend. Brianna, the busiest travel days have already passed us. Those were expected to be Thursday and Friday, but don't be surprised if you see a few backups on the highway this weekend if you have any plans. Now, experts say that uh, travel by car is up 60% from what it was this time just a year ago. According to the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, 523,000 vehicles are expected to be on the road today alone. But if you hit the roads, expect to pay for it. Quite literally, actually, the average gas price in Pittsburgh is th is three $3.19 per gallon for unleaded fuel. Now that's higher than the national average at $3.04. So if you can afford to fill up outside of the city, it might save you some money to do so. And airplane travel is booming also. Pittsburgh International Airport says they're now seeing about 10,000 flights or excuse me, at 10,000 travelers per day. And that's up 1,200% than this time last year. Now, speaking of flying, the airport is adding or returning 18 popular routes to their summer schedule. And don't forget that there still is a federal mask mandate in place. So that means if you go to the airport and fly in a plane, you are still required to wear a mask. Live on the North Shore this morning, I'm Brian Reed, KDK News.